Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is evening prayer for Tuesday, May 5th. It's the fifth week of Easter and week four in the psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 68, verse 1 to 27, and Luke chapter 8, verse 1 through 15. Please join me in singing verse 4 of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts to the tune of New Britain. You made the ebbing channel dry While Israel passed the flood There did the church begin their joy And triumph in their God O oh God Come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Arise, my God, let your enemies be scattered. Let them that hate you flee. Alleluia. Psalm 68. And please recite it together with me. Alleluia, arise, my God, let your enemies be scattered. Let them that hate you flee. As smoke is blown away, let them be blown away. As wax melts before a fire, let the wicked perish at your presence. But let the righteous be glad and rejoice before you. Sing to God, sing praises to God's name. God, exalt God who rides upon the heavens. God's name is Yahweh, rejoice before God. You adopt the orphan, O God, and defend the widow. Such are you in your holy dwelling. You give to those who are alone a family, and you lead prisoners to freedom. But the rebellious must dwell in a dry land. When you went forth before your people, when you marched through the wilderness, the earth shook and the heavens rained at your presence. And even Sinai itself was moved, O God of Israel. You sent a plentiful rain on your inheritance and refreshed the land when it was weary. And your congregation has dwelt therein. You have provided out of your goodness for the poor. You gave the word. Great was the company of those that proclaimed it. Rulers with their armies fled while you were at rest among the sheepfolds and the women at home divided the spoil. Like the wings of a dove, they are covered with silver, her feathers brilliant with yellow gold. When the Almighty scattered rulers, it was like falling snow in Salmon. The hill of God is like the hill of Bashan. A high hill is the hill of Bashan. Why do you leap, you high hills? This is the hill where God desires to live. The Most High will dwell in it forever. The chariots of God are twenty thousand, even thousands of thousands. The Most High comes in holiness from Sinai. You have ascended on high and have led captivity captive. You have received gifts for people, yes, for the rebellious also, that you might dwell among them. Blessed are you who daily bears our burdens. You are the God of our salvation, the God who saves us. By you we escape death. But you will crush the heads of your enemies and the hairy scalp of the evil doers. You said, I will bring my people back from Bashan. I will bring my people back from the depths of the sea. That your foot may be dipped in the blood of your enemies and the tongues of your dogs too. They have seen your procession, O God, the goings of my God, my ruler, into the sanctuary. The singers went first, the musicians followed. Among them were the maidens playing their timbrels. Blessed are you, O God, in the congregations from the fountain of Israel. There is little Benjamin with their ruler, the princes of Judah and their council, the leaders of Zebulun, and the leaders of Naphtali. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word 
and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Arise, my God, let your enemies be scattered. Let them that hate you flee. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 8, beginning at verse 1. Soon afterward, Jesus went on through the cities and villages, proclaiming and bringing the good news of the kingdom of God. The twelve were with him, as well as some women who had been cured of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out, and Joanna, the wife of Herod's steward, Chusa, and Susanna, and many others who provided for them out of their resources. And when a great crowd gathered and people from town after town came to him, he said in a parable, A sower went out to sow his seed, and as he sowed, some fell on the path and was trampled, and the birds of the air ate it up. Some fell on the rock, and as it grew up, it withered for lack of moisture. Some fell among thorns, and the thorns grew with it and choked it. Some fell into good soil, and when it grew, it produced a hundredfold. And as he said this, he called out, Let anyone with ears to hear listen. Then his disciples asked him what this parable meant, and he said, To you, it has been given to know the secrets of the kingdom of God, but to others I speak in parables, so that looking they may not perceive, and listening they may not understand. Now the parable is this. The seed is the word of God, and the ones on the path are those who have heard. Then the devil comes and takes away the word from their hearts, so that they may not believe and be saved. The ones on the rock are those who, when they hear the word, receive it with joy. But they have no root. They believe only for a while, and at a time of testing, fall away. As for what fell among the thorns, these are the ones who hear. But as they go on their way, they are choked by the cares and riches and pleasures of life, and their fruit does not mature. But as for that... But as for that in the good soil, these are the ones who, when they hear the word, hold it fast in an honest and good heart, and bear fruit with patient endurance. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions, and please say the response after each verse. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us, and for all of your intentions. Together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. You are a God who scatters the enemy like smoke in the wind. Show forth your mighty power and strengthen us in your ways. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
we trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.